Hello! Buonasera amici! T. Walker with another Walker Wine Session. This will be number two in the Long Live series. Um, I've got a red wine with me here. Excited about that. Um, I still have my vineyard gear on because I was working in the vineyard. Excited about that. Uh, I've got... So just to kind of give a little rundown on the wine, I I opened this yesterday. I had it with uh, my meal, but I didn't have time to do the video. I did jot down some notes though, so I can kind of revisit those. But um, I think it will also be fun to revisit a wine on day two or 24 hours later to see how it holds up. Uh, it's one of those things that not everyone, when you purchase a, a bottle of wine uh, at the store, you consume it in an evening. Uh, and this wine, which is the Winte Vineyards Cabernet Sauvignon 2017. Um, it's a bottle that I got from the, from the store here, from the, actually the grocery store. And I have a little bit of a past with it in that I actually sat next to the uh, one of the owners years ago um, at, a, uh, at a luncheon that I was uh, a part of. And a super, super great guy, super nice guy. And so I've always had great kind of um, you know, an affination, um, an affinity, sorry, not affination, an affinity towards, uh, towards this, this brand. Um, and specifically too, because it's, it is an entry level, um, in general, it's an entry level, uh, price point wine and winery, um, in those teens. Um, they do, uh, you know, their Chardonnay and Cabernet, they, they make a, a healthy amount of, but I think their quality, I also sold the wine back in the day and their quality has always been extremely high. So, um, but I hadn't tasted much of Winte in, in quite some time, you know, probably at least a handful of years. And uh, I saw on the shelf, it was a great price point. And um, I had it last night, like I said, and, and I really, really enjoyed it. So hopefully that's uh, still going on in the glass on, on day two. Still there. Um, but anyway, so Winte Vineyards, uh, 2017 Cab Sav, uh, comes from the Livermore Valley Appalachian in California. It's about uh, 40 miles or so from the, the Pacific coast, uh, about 30 or so miles from San Francisco. And uh, there's a lot of history there, and I won't go fully in depth on that, but uh, this winery itself is actually, Winte is the longest running continuously running family-owned winery in the country. Uh, it started in 1883, so almost 140 years ago. Uh, so it's certainly a, a pioneer in the wine industry. And uh, fifth, they're on their fifth generation a winemaker, the, the son, um, at the moment. And um, so I think that's a really, a really cool backstory. Obviously, not many people have, um, especially here in the States. And... Um, and, and so there's a lot there's a lot of like even uh, the Chardonnay clone that they originally brought in 80% of the Chardonnay in California is a Winte Vineyards clone which was brought from France but um, so there's been a huge impact uh, that Winte has had on the the California and American wine industry and um, and yeah just uh, just a, 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 a a great brand and and uh, and something I'm always excited about. But uh, this this wine, Cap Sab, comes in at 13.5 percent alcohol. I got it in the low teens at a retail store here in town for y'all that are uh, trying to find it. But it shouldn't be too difficult to access. And um, their uh, their kind of terroir and climate, if you will, it's a it's a actually kind of cool cool in the sense of unique um, Appalachian where it's actually the valley, the Livermore Valley runs east and west about 15 miles. And so you've got mountains on both the north and south. And that's pretty unique for the air. It actually allows the Pacific air to funnel in quite easily because of that orientation. A lot of the, the whole, essentially the whole range of the Pacific mountains um, run north and south. Um, you know, the Cascades and the Sierras and such. But within that, especially this coastal, the coastal range there, you've got this this cool east to west pocket. I mean, Napa and Sonoma and all those valleys, those are north and south running. Um, but this is the east and west one. So I'm able to get certainly enough ripeness. 
um, in California, but it has that great diurnal shift. So warm days and cool nights um, that really help to to ripen the ripen the wine. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna kind of stick my nose in the glass. I've been talking for a while, and um, it's still it's still portraying everything that I that I really loved about it from last night. I haven't even looked at my notes that I wrote down yet, but. I mean, being from California and this kind of style and price point, it's got big fruit, um, that cassis and blackberry, um, a little jammy, uh, not particularly stewy, but it's got some, some, some kind of fresh, sweet prunes, not something that you'd get from a bag that's been sitting somewhere for a long, long time at grandma's house. Um, you know, a, a, a plum that's been picked and dried, you know, in someone's basement or wherever you dry prunes probably outside somewhere and uh, in a dry climate not here in the east coast um and and it's really fresh and sweet still so uh really liking that aspect of it i, I will say that yesterday um you know i didn't get a huge mineral component um so it, it was definitely driven by the fruit um but i had this great kind of cocoa malted chocolate uh, malted milk chocolate uh, i don't know if all malted chocolate's milky or not but uh, that could be a thing i don't really eat much of it but i've had it before it's got that great cocoa chocolate component there that i you know they say it's in a lot of wines so this for, it works for me in this wine it's not too overt um it doesn't cover anything up it's it's just you know another kind of subtle layer to add to the complexity um, but it doesn't add any kind of like artificially sweet component um, that might be off-putting or it's been off-putting to me before in the past. Mm. Mm. Man, so juicy. Great balance. I mean, low, low teens. To me, this is a bargain of a steal of a wine. It's just... I would go, I'm going to go out and get another bottle just to kind of put away and, and drink at some point this, this year. Um, beautiful kind of plush, velvety, velvety tannins, but they are present. They're still drying. Um, juicy acidity, that kind of fresh prune finish, but the big kind of boysenberry, blackberry jam fruit is up front um, leading the way. And... Uh, really liking this wine you know i think you could drink it on its own it's a nice just like highly quaffable highly moorish moorish drinkable style of wine that that you know frankly um you know maybe i'm not drinking enough wine lately most of the wine i drink i'm, I'm doing now with y'all like once or maybe twice a week uh, which keeps my palate really fresh uh, in the sense of that i i i'm not drinking it every day day in and day out to where, you know, I'm, I'm bored of wine. Um, that said, and I'm not sure if that's possible to be honest, but, um, yeah, just a, just a killer, you know, following up the last wine, the Gigonda that I did from, from Costco, from Kirkland signature, um, uh, two, you know, mid low teen price point wines that have, have over delivered. Um, it's got a beautiful color, you know, that kind of, uh plummy purple that goes all the way to the rim um you know clean nose no faults um wow i mean there's probably a little bit of residual sugar in this wine um uh, but they've balanced out the, sh the whatever point two grams of sugar that's in there, or maybe two grams per liter, um, not point two. Um, the sugar, but now it's acid, tannin, that fruit, the fruit and acid and tannin are just in this beautiful harmony um, to, where, to where you just want to keep going back for more. I had a kind of, you know, salty, sweet Asian noodle style dish last night that I thought it went really well with. Um, you know, it didn't cover up the food. The food didn't particularly cover it up too much. Um, although I am kind of seeing more of the wine just drinking it on its own. So, uh, 
just a great just a great wine for the price and um and i'm excited just to kind of rediscover this brand they've got uh, some higher end stuff that i've never seen anywhere in any store uh, might be wine club only or i'm not sure but um uh, yeah a great little wine i, I think um and, and also just kind of to to wrap up and one of the points you know i'd like to do more vlog videos with um with you know specific um specific questions and intentions and things uh you know not just about a wine but um how to navigate the wine world and purchasing and and the do's and don'ts if you will and um with with <clears throat> with this wine being a whole day later 24 hours so i would say day two but not 48 hours 24 hours um the wine's really held up well um and the nose i got maybe a scotch more a touch more alcohol um but very little uh, i i would doubt that anyone would really notice or care to be honest um but really holding up well there's a lot of wines out there in the you know below 10 bucks and 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 through the teens even and maybe above that even some high-end wines actually um but that that just don't last on day two um, you know, some of those good wines out of the bottle and some of those bad wines out of the bottle are not particularly interesting. Um, so I'm really impressed with that and, uh, kudos to, to Winte for this wine. Um, wrapping up, whew, let's see, um, looking forward to video number three, uh, Winte pioneer in the wine industry, uh, made the first varietally labeled Chardonnay back in what did I write down? 1936. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot to be said for this winery, and I hope that everyone goes out and gives it a try. Uh, I think they do a great job, and you know, in America where it's a little bit harder to find good value, um, a good quality price ratio, good value wine, uh, I think Wente is is way up there with some of the you know i would say washington state brands that i particularly like as well and the same price point but right now this wine for me is is over delivering as well um two for two hoorah uh, so until next time take care namaste